Week before Halloween, we just finished racing the last race of the season and we did win the Atlantic Rally Cup Championship uh, with the borrowed motor. The old motor's actually it's way over here. This is Jason's old motor. Anyway, so today we're starting on the Forester build and organizing the shop a little bit. We just got a cabinet for some hardware. And now we're going to be assembling this beauty. This is the IAG Magnum block. We're gonna do more of a detailed build with this one than I did on the last one. Um, some people wanted to see more build footage. So uh, when you get a new block, it comes in a white IAG box like this with some vacuum foam, I guess you'd call it, where it sealed all the gaps. Uh, we did, one thing we did do already is these come unscrewed and they're actually facing this way through this hole right here. So you unscrew those, you put it on here so you can get it on the engine stand. But uh, one thing we do recommend doing before you put it on the engine stand is doing the rear main seal, the access cover, and the uh, separator plate cover. So we're gonna do all those, and then you'll do uh, wrist pin covers, and we can put the flywheel on, then we can put it back on the engine stand, uh, we are waiting on the heads from Fast Tech. They have to get drilled for the 14 millimeter studs, but in the meantime, we can do a few other things. Like we got the new oil pump and water pump, so uh, we're going to put the JDM 12 millimeter oil pump on this one. So uh, let's get started. All right, we got the block repositioned. Uh, when you order the IAG blocks, they don't come with any of these covers anymore. You have to pay for them separately, unfortunately. Uh, so when you order the kit, it will come in a bag like this. And this is all the stuff that comes in it. The cover ports and bolts, wrist pin covers, crush washers, the separator plate. Uh, this special one is the one that goes in the corner with the arrow, which is this corner right here. And it comes with the rear main, but if you get an engine seal kit from Subaru, it comes with a bunch too, so we have a bunch of those. And then these are all the rest of the uh, bolts for the cover plate. So you will need to buy that unless you're transferring it over from a previous block, which I don't recommend, especially not these. We have had trouble getting these off. And uh, some of these are plastic and they're junk. These ones are aluminum. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and put these on and seal them with Fuji Bond. And uh, we'll let you know uh, what the next step is after this. Two of these, two crush washers, Fuji Bond and a torque wrench. These get torqued to 51 foot pounds, roughly. It's like 51 point something, but 51 will work. Place these on there. Small bead of Fuji Bond. probably use Permatex Ultra Gray too if you needed to. We have Fuji Bond here. Throw them in. Should go in nice and easy. Torque 51.
All right, we're spinning around back and do the other side and then we will pick back up. Okay, now we spun around to the front. Uh, as you can see, we put the one in there. Do, do not forget that one before you put the separator plate on. So we're gonna do this, which is this bracket here, this O-ring, these two bolts, and they get torqued to 4.7 foot-pounds or 60 inch-pounds roughly. Same thing with those, and then that one uh, on the cover plate with the arrow goes here. And then you put a uh, three millimeter barrier of Fuji Bond on the separator plate, and then you can let it tack up for a few minutes while you do this. Also make sure that you brake clean the surfaces if it's more than is what's getting Fuji Bonded. There, and down here. This is a brand new block, but it was in a uh, plastic case for a little while, so. Make sure it gets cleaned up and then there's no residue from. Just a little piece right there. Okay, so this piece goes on. No Fuji Bond because it has an O ring. gets pressed in here. Looks like it's big, but it has to have some tension on it. And then the two uh, pan head screws that come with the kit <clears throat> go in there. The other screws are for the other kit. Throw these on. Did Loctite these at all, do you know? No, it did not. Okay. So we have a Phillips on our inch pounds, set to 60 inch pounds. Uh, these you probably don't have to torque, but I wouldn't advise over tightening them because these are a pain in the butt to get out if you ever have to replace these, especially these ones, you need a hammer one. So snug these up until it clicks with the torque. that that one's already in and we take the cover plate silver bolts go in the other holes the black one with Loctite goes there like we said before Uh, there's no specific tightening sequence, just do a star pattern like you would everything else. Definitely worth uh, putting the metal one of these on. Especially if you're taking your engine apart and it's plastic, just go ahead and order this part number here. To get the aluminum one, because the plastic ones are pretty bad. We had a customer car in here not that long ago. The plastic one was leaking and warped pretty good after a long time. This is the black one that has the lock plate on it already. It's not focusing it. <laughs> no? No. Uh, maybe it'll... To... No, it's not focusing. It's 800-406-150. There you go. Oh. Roughly 60 inch pounds. Sorry about the rain, we're getting like Hurricane rain from the coast. Okay. That's it. Next, we'll do the rear main seal. Um, we don't have all the factory Subaru tools here, so you can just use a block of wood and something gentle that you're not going to scar anything. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put that on now. You're definitely gonna wanna oil. 
before you install. Start it with your hands and make sure there's no binding before you go smash it on there. And uh, just wanna go easy with it. These are not very expensive, but if you only have one, you don't want the inconvenience of screwing it up. So. Without the factory tool, it can definitely fight you. pretty flush with the block, so it needs to go in a little more. See, it's kind of protruding a little still, so you need to do it and some hair more to get your finger caught on it. You want it to be pretty smooth. What you can do it is with a quarter inch, just lightly hit it. Make sure you clean it off so you don't have any debris on there and it's looking pretty good. So uh, when you're ready to put the flywheel on, you just want to double check that you have your cover on. That one comes with the block. The one behind this cover that's in this corner, the cover itself, it's sealed with the black screw in the corner and then the uh, rear main. And then after that, you can put your flywheel on. We're using a pretty new, uh, it only has a couple hundred miles on it, but this is an STI OEM flywheel. All right, now you're gonna put on your flywheel. Uh, make sure that you clean it with brake cleaner like we just did, both sides, before you put it on. And then uh, your bolts are gonna get torqued to 22 foot-pounds and then an additional 30 degrees. Unfortunately, most people do not have torque wrenches that do additional degrees and neither do we so we're going to do 25 foot pounds and then just snug it up a little bit from there fortunately there's a lot of things that need degrees like when you're doing stock head bolts and whatnot but we don't have that. So we got four teams, um, the machine thread, so make sure they find thread, make sure they start good. And if not, run through a tap. Then you could save some time, run them up with one of these, just don't. Make sure you tighten them all even. From there, switch to the torque wrench. 
have someone hold the crank pulled or wedge something in one of these teeth if you're by yourself. And go on a star pattern as well. So that clicks. Now we're gonna go an additional, okay. Alright, and then just go back and make sure that you didn't miss one. Sometimes there's like 10 bolts. Okay. That's it. Now it's ready to put back on the engine stand. Use your nuts from when you took it off the transmission previously or the 14mm uh, trans nuts and two bolts. And then once it's on the engine stand, we'll continue.